What's going on, everybody? First off, I just want to say thank you to everybody for your feedback. Um, I'm trying to get better at this thing. Um, please bear with me. Um, like I said, thank you for your feedback. Let me know um, if you can hear me or not. Um, if it get a little blurry, the quality as far as visual is not there, just let me know. Um, if you have any ideas, hit me up with it. Uh, I'll be sure to read it and uh, try to make it better. But uh, tip for the day. Um, got the question that uh, what kind of percentages I use when I do my 10 sets of 10. Uh, what I want to say is I'm not um, a person that care for percentages by any means. Um, um, if you used to talk to, I want to say, majority of uh, high-end powerlifters and bodybuilders, um, I would like to say that they don't go by percentages, you know, uh, it's all by feel, okay? Um, percentages will lead you to a couple different things, like one, uh, your confidence level will go down, um, two, your workouts will not go as <laughs> you want them to. Um, and three, as far as a overall training cycle, you will um, not be where you think you should be or where it says you should be. Um, this is where this is where things get lost and and the problem is that everybody wants, somebody to, to tell them exactly what they need to do day by day which doesn't work like that you cannot you cannot give a specific number or something like that because you never know what you're going to have during that day before you get to the gym um, that's just setting you up for failure a lot of times in the gym um, my thing is is when I work out like I said I go by feel um, I keep in mind of what I did the previous week for whatever day it is, say squat, like today I squat, um, say, um, I did whatever last week, uh, I think about what I did last week and I think about the sets and reps I have this week, I go by what I did from last week. And then as I warm up, I, I keep in mind how I feel. Um, I may feel good. I may feel bad. Um, but I'm going to put it, I'm going to put my weight selection depending on how I feel that day, but also basing it where I left off or what my sets looked like last week. Okay. This here will ensure you that you will get the the most out of your workout, whether it's whether the weight is lighter than what you did last week or not. And what will happen then is, like I said, your body will put out as much as it can that particular day, and then the body. It's only registering how stressful the workout was. So no matter if you hit PRs or if you come in and you below the numbers that you did previously, but still struggled through that workout, it still got a good workout. I mean, it's the same, okay? The body knows that it worked and it's been pushed to the max, okay? of that particular day so you're gonna get gains uh, regardless okay so don't sit there and worry about well I didn't get I didn't get um, 315 for my 5 or 315 for my 3 or whatever you're doing that day 
um, that doesn't mean that you're behind in strength. That only means that that's all your body can do for that day. But it was pushed, okay? Like I said, and like I said, you're going to get gains regardless the weight or not, okay? So when a lot of people hear me say, fuck PRs, then that's exactly what I mean. Uh, PRs is not everything. It's the work that you do that day um, determines if you get gains or not. Um, I had bad training cycles to where, <clears throat> to where I I wouldn't train, or really it wasn't bad training cycles. I'm I'm falling into that. It it wasn't bad training cycles, but it wasn't the numbers that I would have thought I should have done, you know, and. And really, it didn't matter because I was still getting stronger and stronger because I was putting in quality workouts, okay? So so that's the thing is you want quality workouts no matter how much the weight is, okay? So you can continue to get those gains, all right? So one thing about percentages that uh, – the thing that, uh, that I don't like about percentages is that um, – so you have to hit 75% for five reps, okay? This is the thing. Like I said, you don't know what your body going to go through that particular day. If you if you didn't get to eat or whatever, um, say you warm up, things are feeling bad or not that good. And uh, your first set, you have to do 75% for five, okay? Um, that first five, that first set feels heavy you go to a second set and you barely make it through your second set okay that's gonna do a couple things okay for one that's gonna discourage you okay that hey I'm not as strong as I was before why I'm getting weaker that don't mean that that don't mean you're getting weaker it's just that day you're taxed okay so um, you break down your confidence okay and then on top of that, you feel rushed, especially if you're going in for a meet. You feel rushed, saying, "Okay, well, I'm behind on my training cycle. I'm not gonna do that good. On, a, I'm not gonna do as good as I did last week." So you're putting a lot of stress on your, on your mind, and 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 anytime you do that, you know your training will just strictly go down. I mean, it it will just go down because you're thinking you're behind. No, you're not behind. So. Don't do that to yourself. Um, don't sit there and hold your, your body to a certain standard when it's not ready. It's, it's, it's just, it just don't add up, okay? You have to only do what you have to only do what the body can do, allow you to do that particular day. Um, so as far as percentages, I would throw them out the door. That's why I don't like a lot of programming. Um, all programs will work, tell you the truth, okay? Um, but it's depending on your number calling, okay? Um, that's where everything falls falls in the cracks. People are sitting there trying to do what other people are telling them to do as far as numbers, okay? You know your body. You know how the weight felt this particular set. You know how it felt last week. Um, so choose and make your jumps from there. All right. Um, hope, hope you got something out of this. And like I said, if, excuse me, like I said, if y'all have any suggestions for me, uh, please shoot me some suggestions and, uh, I'll see what I can do. And like I said, hopefully y'all get something out of this. All right. Out.